Time now for some adult talk. Parents, if you've got kids in the room, it's a good idea to go ahead and give them a break from the television. Joining me right now is Dr. Erwin Goldstein, Director of Sexual Medicine at Alvarado Hospital. He's here to introduce us to a game-changing new drug <laughs> to help women with their sexual desire. Okay, so tell me about this drug and what makes it a game-changer in your opinion. So, Erica, thank you for doing this. As always, I appreciate it. Um, the so the brain has uh, uh, areas for uh, sexual arousal and sexual desire, and some of the chemicals in the brain that make that active are a chemical called dopamine, and uh, around dopamine is a chemical called melanocortin. And this drug, uh, which you actually inject subcutaneously in the, in the, in the tummy area, um, uh, on demand use, um, dramatically, dramatically increases this chemical dopamine which for women who have sexual problems because of this brain chemistry imbalance will re-change the balance. The drug is called? Brie melanotide is its chemical name. It hasn't been given yet a name. It, okay. And it's just finished the phase two studies. So in the phase two studies, it statistically significantly increased sexual desire, sexual arousal. It lowered distress in women. It increased their well-being, their meaningfulness of the sexual event. Um, it actually made women who had sexual dysfunction by questionnaire standards back to normal without sexual dysfunction. Pretty when cool. When could it be <laughs> available? So the phase three studies that need to happen before the availability and we're doing them in the fall quarter uh, in San Diego here. So I think uh, if anyone's interested, wow. and I would encourage the interest if you have a problem, um, to call our office and uh, we'll get that number out hopefully. <laughs> Wow. Um, so uh, tell me what makes this so different than what's already out there for women with, with sexual dysfunction. Okay, so <laughs> there's about 20 drugs out there for men with sexual dysfunction, and they typically act in the periphery, whereas uh, we don't have any drugs for women. There's nothing out there. There's no drugs for women, sadly. Um, but we're going to change that. 2013 is the year of the woman. This is the <laughs> year we're going to change that. At the FDA now is a drug called Flibanserin, F-L-I-B-A-N-S-E-R-I-N, which uh, by September they have to notify the company whether the FDA approves this or not. This will be the first drug for women. So this shot would be on demand. So right. if you have a date that night and you want to prepare for it, you give yourself a shot. Or your date can give you. Oh, that's someone romantic. Has to give you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but you know, there are women who have this as a problem. I yep. mean, it's uh, affecting relationships, it's affecting well-being, confidence. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's a sad situation and there is no one who talks about it, there's no doctors who deal with it, and now there's no FDA products for it. So, you know, the world will change, we hope, to allow you know, men have who have this problem have treatments and right. we just need to get that out for Why women. is that? Why is there so much out there for men and there's nothing for women? It's a complicated question and yeah. a complicated answer. I, I, I think um, uh, the FDA has higher standards uh, for safety in, in women and I, I, I think there's a lot of politics uh, going on and how you define sexual dysfunction in women and all that stuff but I think we've, we've gotten over the, the problems that the FDA uh, this fall, the, they have to act. So one way or the other, we will know whether there is this drug, flibanserin, out uh, for women. And so, um, I know it's still in the trial phase, but do you know, have they had any issues so far, any drawbacks that have come up during the trial phase? So bremelanotide um, <coughs> acts on the melanocortin center of the brain, which is uh, next to the sexual area, but next to the sexual area is the nausea and vomiting area. God only knows why that exists. So it can cause some nausea and vomiting. Okay. Uh, and they have different dosages, so you can go to a lower dose. But it's very rare, and it's only uh, caused only a few people in the 400 people studied thus far to drop out because of that. Okay. But that's really it. Uh, not a big deal. And uh, uh, so you inject it an hour before, your uh, whole world changes for about four to six hours, and then you go back to your old ways, except that knowing that you have something available to you can really 
uh, improve the woman's it's huge. outcome. It, it's, it's huge. This is an awesome drug. Yeah, <laughs> I can tell you're really excited about it. I know a lot of women out there. I mean, this would be. And we're looking for subjects. So at the other end of this uh, thing, we have to have subjects to participate. Okay, so they need to call. Uh, Six one nine two six five eight eight six five. Yeah. Say that one more time. Six one nine two six five. 8865. Okay, and it's up on your screen right there. And uh, do you know how many participants they're looking for to participate? Well, so these are uh, these are the pivotals. So they're going to be looking at almost a thousand women and okay. more. So there'll be a lot of people opportunity. Yeah, this is huge. Great. Well, Dr. Goldstein, oh, thank you thank so you much. Again. We really, really <laughs> appreciate it. And uh, let's go ahead and put that information back up one more time because I know a lot of people are going to be really interested in this. You can reach Dr. Goldstein at San Diego Sexual Medicine Alvarado Hospital. Just visit our website, CNI. On tab. Raul, this would be an amazing thing for so many women out there. Incredible advancements. All right, Dr. Erica, thank you both.